what's going on folks welcome to the channel and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, well this and this is a recall letter that I received from Toyota about the brake master cylinder on my 2018 Tacoma so what that means is now that I have a brand new truck or well it's not brand new anymore it's a few months old or whatever you want to call it it's new to me so now I have to take my new truck up to the dealership to fix a faulty part that it says can uh, leak fluid and reduce my brake performance which could make me wreck and that's just not good so um, this Saturday I have to take it up to the Toyota dealership where I get my where I got my truck from and it says in the letter that they're gonna take care of it for free obviously they should you know that you shouldn't be charged for something that the factory did wrong uh, or that was a faulty part so I'm gonna get that taken care of and <clears throat> I just got my first oil change in it too which is weird because they tell you not to get an oil change until 10,000 miles now most of us are told you know between three to five thousand miles change your oil so that's kinda weird but it's okay because it was free so I'll I won't argue with free <laughs> so with this video I'd like to talk a little bit more about the uh, letter um, I'm not going to harp on it too long because one, Toyota is making it right, two, it's free, and three, y'all probably don't really care that much. But I just thought I would share this with you. <clears throat> um, well, let's see right here. Let's see, what is the condition? Due to improper manufacturing processes by a part supplier, a seal in certain brake master cylinders may become damaged over time and leak brake fluid internally. The brake pedal feel could change and front brake performance could suddenly could be suddenly reduced. Sorry, I can't read. This could result in increased vehicle stopping distance, increasing the risk of a crash. Okay, so, as I just stated, it's going to tear up, it, it could possibly cause me to tear up my vehicle if the brakes were to fail. But, only a couple days till I take it up there to fix it. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because they haven't had the part. I was up there, uh, not this past Saturday, but the one before that, getting my oil changed. And that's when I scheduled this, because it took them, I guess, forever how long to get the part in for me which I there's three yeah there's three Toyota dealerships within I don't know probably 20 30 miles of where I live and I mean I feel like they could have uh, I feel like they could have maybe had one couriered over from a different dealership but I guess it all depends on if they even had one at a different dealership now I know it's a little weird for me to be shooting right here I am shooting actually from the inside of my truck. You know, there's a little little peeker on the interior. Yes, I'm sitting in my apartment complex parking lot doing this. So, uh, sorry for the lighting. Uh, you know, I didn't really have a great spot to do this in today, and it was nighttime. I've had a really long day at work, so um, I kind of rushed to get this done. But, with that being said, I'm going to end it off talking about, you know, my truck and the warranty and everything like that. I will be making a follow-up video on Saturday when I take it up there and everything like that. So, be expecting a new video around Monday, because there's also some races this weekend that I want to go to. And I'm going to do that, and I would like to get it all in one video because I don't like making two, three, four minute long videos for you guys. I would like to make something that's, you know, in the 10 minute or so range, something entertaining and worthwhile watching. Um, and I like to try and provide good content. So with that being said, I'm going to end it off here 
with, you know, the uh, recall letter part of the video. And this portion of the video is going to be just some racing from this past weekend. I went to a Midnight Madness event. They're starting those back up again at the uh, Memphis International Raceway. And that is one of my favorite things to go do, Midnight Madness, because it lasts till like 1 in the morning. You see all kinds of crazy cars. Um, people bring their rides that they drive to work. Rides that, you know, they've spent years building. It, it's crazy. It's a cool combination of cars. So, um, yeah, just stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. Appreciate it, guys.
Tak til.